On a previous DJI update, they gave us a new firmware for this DJI RC and RC2 controller. They also gave us a new version of their Fly app 1.13.0 for this controller, the other controller, and of course, anybody using an Android or iOS mobile phone. I did a full comprehensive review on my channel. However, today I'm here to tell you there has been another new update. We have the DJI Fly 1.13.1. So in this video, I'm going to explain what this new update is all about and talk about if you are having one of the issues which the last update was supposed to fix with this controller, how you get around it. So let's get into it. So as I mentioned on the last update, DJI gave us a really cool firmware update for this and the other screen controller. This allows this controller to update its DJI Fly app completely independently without having the need to update a full massive firmware update essentially. However, this is the first instance that that has been put into practice and unfortunately it didn't quite go as planned. So let me explain. So essentially when I turned on my controller to update the DJI Fly app, you can see right here that there is an update. If you go into your settings and then about, you can see there is a red dot indicating there is a new version of the DJI Fly app available. This is 1.13.1, which of course I will cover later on in the video. However, the issue I had is when I clicked update, it would go through the process and it would download the update. When I went to go click install, it would again go through the process. However, the issue is once the controller completely rebooted, and it was back to uh, the home screen, checking the DJI Fly app version, it was still 1.13.0. So after trying this three or four times, essentially um, I had to get my thinking cap on and figure out how to do this. So if you do have one of these controllers and you are experiencing the same problem that I had with the fact that you go through the update process, yet it's not actually updating the DJI Fly app, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. So the way this works, what you need to do is click update on the DJI Fly app. We then need to swipe down using our finger from top of the screen downwards and that's going to reveal the second menu. Now as you can see right here what it's going to do is show you on the left hand side in our notification box that we are downloading the latest version of the Fly app. What we're then going to do is just half swipe very slowly to the left hand side and then what that's going to do is reveal this little cog. Once we've selected that setting and we've got the new screen up, what we're going to do is scroll all the way down to advanced because what we need to do and what's stopping the problem is we need to switch on the ability to install uh, an update from within the DJI Fly app. Bit of a vital thing that DJI have missed there, the fact that obviously we cannot actually install an update from the DJI Fly app. Okay, but bear with me because DJI might have fixed it, but if they haven't, this is the way around it. So what we need to do is of course go all the way down to the bottom, we're going to click advanced, and then we're going to enable this option right here, which of course allows us to install the DJI Fly app through the DJI Fly app. Now what you're going to find with that toggled on, we can come back out of that, wait until the DJI Fly app has finished downloading, we're just going to go back to our main screen, click that install button and allow the controller to do its thing. After a few moments, do give it a bit of patience, these are not the fastest things in the world, it may take a good two or three minutes, the controller will restart, we go back into our about section, and thankfully that has updated to the right version of the DJI Fly app 1.13. Point one. So what is actually new with this update then? Well, obviously, the, the, one of the previous issues we had with the last update was the fact that when we had our speed mode on our controller toggled to normal, on the DJI Fly app, it was actually indicating as a P for position mode. Now, that is basically what DJI used to call normal mode on some of their older drones, such as the older Mavics and Phantoms, etc. used to have sort of tripod mode, position mode, and then, of course, sport mode. Today we use cine and then normal and then sport, okay? Uh, but for some reason, every now and again, there's a little bit of a bug, DJI go back to the old naming, and I can confirm that with this update, with the DJI Fly 1.13.1, that is now displaying correctly, as you can see with this test flight, using the DJI Mini 3 Pro. So that is all well and good. 
Now, of course, this is available also for Android and iOS devices. So obviously you can update through the relevant iOS app store or of course the DJI download page. Um, if you're not aware already, I also host all of the old Android APK files in my own personal Google Drive. So if you do always need to go back to a previous version for any particular reason, whether DJI introduce a feature you don't quite like, I will leave a link to that in the video description below where you can find all the old versions dating to a couple of years I think it has been now um, if you want to go back and use that resource. Now I like to do test flights using these drones of course uh, so you just make sure that everything is working correctly. Um, one little bug I did find on the last one is my Mini 4 Pro and my Mini 3 Pro were doing really weird things when it came to the gimbal after completing a quick shot for example it was inexplicably just raising the gimbal upwards but this update does seem to have fixed all of that and my two quick shot tests I have done, everything has been working absolutely fine. The complimentary return to home test, just to make sure once again, these are all working. And both of these drones got back absolutely as they should. So I'd just been out there conducting my test flight with this controller, with the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Um, I got back in and then I found that DJI had given us a firmware update on this particular controller, okay? So essentially, I'm not too sure whether this firmware update fixes the bug with the fact that the DJI Flight app wasn't installing correctly on this controller, okay? They may have fixed it with this firmware update, but of course, I'm not going to know whether that is correct until the next one to be able to test that out. So essentially, um, if you are watching this video and you have installed the DJI firmware update, please do let me know in the comment section below whether you could update your DJI Fly app uh, on this controller absolutely fine or if you can update it of course by watching this video you've now seen the workaround that I've figured out to be able to enable you to do so. So overall a quick recap I've been out flying with the DJI Mini 3 Pro and the DJI Mini 4 everything seems to be back to working exactly as it should um, the DJI controller seems to update itself quite nicely and like that feature uh, most importantly the little bug that was left over with the P mode uh, being displayed instead of N has also been fixed. Oh, very quickly, I nearly forgot. If you are using the DJI RC2 controller, which of course is the controller for the DJI Mini 4 Pro and the Air 3, as of recording this video right now, there has been no update for this particular controller. However, if and when it does come, presumably later on during the course of today, uh, there will be an update, I can imagine, and I'm guessing that will also fix the same issue with that P and Ed mode and uh, not displaying correctly. So that wraps up this update video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do give it a big thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm more people just like you might want to watch my content. Subscribe if you're awesome and in until next time, see you again soon.